if I wasn't on the podium. So I'm on the podium, so I get to be happy. <laughs> um, yeah, you know, my goal for the year, I wanted to win races, and, and I did that throughout, and then I wanted to have the best performance I could at this race, and if I did my best, I thought I should be on the podium, and um, I just stuck to my race plan, and I felt like I executed all the parts to the best of my ability on the day, and uh, I fought really hard to, to run myself into third, and it was great that I could just push and make it hurt, you know? It's great when you're able to push like that, so I'm super thrilled. Um, so you, you were in contention on the bike, but you weren't with that front group. No, I was, I was a ways back out of the swim, and uh, I, you know, I knew riding was my strength. I was a little worried how many people were in front of me, but I kind of seemed to catch them all on that last section. So then I knew I was within probably top five or six, um, and then I just felt like it was doable to run. And when I saw Meredith up the room, it was getting so much to Mary back, I was like, okay, I can do this. So you never, you never panic. You can't. You, you know, you, I'll, sometimes I would catch myself sort of hyperventilating, getting a bit too excited, and I'd be like, Heather, just swing your arms and run fast. And then it comes down to just doing what you do. And so I ha always was good. I had those thoughts to center myself. So talk a little bit about the run. You, you came off the bike a little bit behind, and, uh, and what was your plan? What was going through your mind when you when you uh, were going to the T2? Uh, just, just get it under control, get in a good rhythm, and just run as fast as I could. You know, I could tell pretty quickly that my legs were good, uh, and that's a great feeling. And then you're like, okay, now I just need to dig deep. And, uh, just little things. I've been running a ton of hills in the Okanagan in BC, and just little things. I'm kind of listening to my coach in my head, like, relax your shoulders, swing your arms, you know, and just... And just just run fast. Jim, all you do is run fast. At what point did you know? Uh, did you feel like you have a podium spot? Like, when did you? No, when did you think you could do it? When I crossed the finish line, well, you know, when I caught Mary Beth, who was third, um, I made a pretty definitive pass at the far at back on the course. Um, and then I just thought, well, you know, I don't know how the pe anyone's feeling behind me, so I knew I had to keep the pressure on. But I sort of felt them like, okay, you're on the podium now. You just gotta keep pushing all the way to the end. So. I did, but yeah, you never know until you cross the finish. So previously you were known as a, a, a very strong biker, yeah. but you've really been working on your running this past you know, year or two. And well, it's really been like five years, and now I'm finally seeing the results of all that hard work in the past year. Do you, do you, think, do you feel like maybe you, you got uh, won over on the competition because they didn't expect you to run your way through the field? Yeah, you know, it's funny. I think my body type, because I'm so tall, I don't look like I'm running fast when I'm actually running really fast. Right? So sometimes I do think I can kind of psych people out that way. But the girls know. I mean, they saw that, you know, I ran uh, 118 in Ocean Side. I, they know I've been running well. So you never underestimate the competition, I don't think. They're just like you hope that you can just beat everyone. How much was your mind to the crowd today? Yeah. Sure, one more. Last, yeah. This last yeah, the crowd is fantastic. I mean, Canadian race, um, everyone is so into it. The, the ski village atmosphere is fantastic. So, of course, it helps. It was great. Great, congratulations. Thanks so much. Thank you. Thank you.